Welcome to All In. I am Pamela Horton, Void Walker Extraordinaire, here to talk to you about the new expansion coming up for Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Bungie shook up the MMO genre with Destiny by developing a palpable first-person shooter that could create an immersive experience complete with raids, player versus player, and item collection. After the success of the first Destiny and its three expansions, Bungie released a direct sequel to the universe with Destiny 2. In the span of just over two years, four more additional expansions were added. And what's a couple more? Beyond Light is going to be the first expansion in a trilogy planned through 2022, and each one of those expansions is going to be the gift that keeps on giving for those closely following the storyline in Destiny 2. I've been playing Destiny since it first came out in 2014, but I'm going to be perfectly honest. I've never been one for first-person games on console. My initial playthrough, I was 100% carried by my friend all the way through the Taken King because I'm just no good at controlling my character. I mean, seriously, most of my deaths were brought about me failing to jump onto platforms or using abilities that made myself blow up. I mean, I'm pretty sure the aliens thought that I was on their side. Because of my uh, rough beginning to the franchise, I didn't touch the series again until Destiny 2 and the advent of dun dun dun! PC gameplay for me, oh, it's perfect. For those that know me, you know that first person shooter games were not my jam until I attempted it on a PC. Now I have an FPS MMO that doesn't have a subscription fee so I can just play it a little bit, get a taste and then step away. One of my favorite things about playing Destiny 2 while classified as a FPS is the fantastical elements like playing the Warlock class. Your primary attacks may be with guns, but you can also use subclass special abilities that can really make your gameplay unique. Each class has its own subclass with its own unique abilities, so you can really cater to your playstyle. And that is enough of both worlds for me. With Destiny 2, I've had the pleasure of playing with my brother and his friends in our shared clans to do events and raids and things like that. I usually fart around on planets and do event quests and things like that, but I very rarely PvP. Like, just, I'm no good at it, and there's way too many pros, and I'm face desking all the time. But like a lot of people, I tend to fall off the MMO bandwagon, but then a new expansion is announced, and then I get right back on it again. Beyond Light did exactly that. After the invasion of strange pyramid ships during the season of arrivals, we make our way to Jupiter's moon Europa, where we overcome and acquire the darkness. This new expansion brings about new subclasses, abilities, and gear via the darkness. Titans can look forward to the behemoth class, warlocks can become shade binders, and hunters can look forward to the new revenant subclass. Each will have their own individual take on the stasis damage type, which will utilize the manipulation of time. Because Destiny 2 is so massive, Bungie has decided to rework the game through the Destiny Content Vault, or the DCV. A number of quests, items, and currencies will be made unavailable along with five of the main planets in the storyline. This will be the new model going forward for each corresponding year in Destiny 2's content schedule. I hope you enjoyed the heck out of Titan, Io, Mars, Mercury, and Leviathan because they are going to be gone as of November 10th. But Beyond Light brings you so much awesome content to play with, I really doubt you'll notice. They're bringing back some familiar faces and raids from Destiny. They're making some small changes to the Gambit PvP PvE mode, and you can customize your ghost. And here's the big one, guys. Bra drum roll. You can now transmogrify your gear. Ah, I'm so excited to go hunting for some gear with my clan. Bungie sure has given us a lot to look forward to with Destiny 2. With Beyond Light and a couple more expansions over the horizon, we'll have so much to do as Guardians over the next couple of years. The darkness may be here, but our light will shine through. Destiny 2 Beyond Light drops on November 10th. Make sure to pick up your copy at a local store or at GameStop.com. Thank you guys so much for watching All In. Again, I am Pamela Horton. Please take care of yourself and your loved ones. We are all in this together. I'm sending you my love.